Hey everybody, welcome back to Utah Trikes. Today we're featuring a sweet build on this episode of UT Customs, so let's jump right into it. Meet Eric Black, a longtime customer and passionate rider who's been with us since 2020. Over the past five years, he's become the proud owner of two custom CXS trikes, equipped with 1000 watt motors and roll-off hubs. But recently, while he's looking for something more robust and stable, Eric discovered our Equad RS platform. He already ordered one back then, but he loved it so much, he's already back for more. After being so impressed with the Equad, he ordered a second one with the exact same specifications as the first. And that is the build that we're going to focus on today on this episode of UT Customs Behind the Build. So for Eric's build, we've duplicated his old system. With this new quad, we're installing a roll-off 14 speed in the rear for the gearing so that he has as much gearing as possible to push those two rear fat wheels and climb any hill that he likes. We're also installing a dual battery system so he can take his E-quad extra far. Eric was thinking ahead, opting for Tannis tire armor in all four tires. He's going with that extra protection and with Tannis that's going to prevent 95% of all common flats. Thinking ahead again, he went for our four wheel braking system for extra safety. With this, there is a brake on each wheel to achieve as much stopping power as possible. For extra comfort, he's added a UT Custom adjustable super headrest to support his neck while riding, and our UT Custom support platform pedals with an adjustable strap to keep his feet locked in when he's pedaling. And for extra visibility on the road, he upgraded to double miracle mirrors to see behind him at all angles. All of these upgrades are on our versatile E-Quad platform, a quad that we fabricate in-house at Utah Trikes. This is one of the few full cycles that we fabricate here, so as well as the custom additions to this quad, let's see how one of these big quads is made and jump right into Eric's build. Every E-Quad RS is built entirely in-house at our Utah Trike shop from the ground up. We start with precision cut aluminum extrusions and custom machined parts, all jigged and welded by hand. Right now, we have Chandler cutting tubing for the UT Custom Super Headrest featured on this build. And while Chandler takes care of the custom accessories, Rudy will be welding together the Equad frame. Next up for our accessories, Chandler will be bending the tubing for some of our headrests. Building, Holden is tapping the E-Quad frame so we can mount the quad's hardware. And after that, the entire frame is sandblasted for a clean finish and then powder coated. In Eric's case, it is powder coated a textured crinkle black designed for durability and a rugged look. After it gets properly coated, it gets sent into the oven to bake. Now, while it gets painted and it's done drying, inventory will be grabbing the parts we need to make this quad the E-Quad. Assembly begins with sub-assemblies, where the rear module, including the suspension, axle, differential, and roll-off is built as one complete unit. We start with the quad's rear axle, tapping it into place and spacing it correctly for the wheels and discs. The drivetrain centers around our in-house machined UT Custom Posi Differential, which is built from high-grade aluminum and stainless steel. This comes stock on the pedal electric hybrid E-Quad and makes for much easier road riding and turning. Lastly, goes in the 14-speed roll-off, a custom upgrade by Eric to give him the highest high gears and lowest low gears, something that really makes the E-Quad riding experience that much better. Now, this is the last part we need rounding off the assembly of the rear section. Now, Kobe will prep the tires, 
And while setting them up, Kobe makes sure to add in Tannis Armor tire liners to ensure that no matter where Eric rides, his tires are going to stay nice and protected. Then we prep the Bafang mid-drive motor, torquing it down and getting it ready to be mounted on the quad. The E-Quad is powered by a 1000 watt Bafang mid-drive motor. This motor is throttle and pedal activated, feeding power into the roll-off before distributing it to both rear wheels through the differential. Now that the Bafang is all ready to be mounted on the quad, we can move all the rear end hardware to the main frame now that the motor and rear end are assembled. The rear end being an entirely separate piece allows the complex parts like the roll-off and the differential to be separate from the frame. This also allows integrated coilover suspension to be featured on the rear end of the E-Quad. Once our hub and motors are installed, we can get to installing the chain. Then Kobe moves up front to install the tie rods for our tiller steering. We have one tie rod for each spindle and then a center tie rod to connect both of them so the steering works in tandem. Now that all the tie rods are installed, we can move forward to making sure that both of the front wheels are aligned correctly. Now that the steering is properly aligned, Kobe can put the rest of the handlebars onto the quad while also wiring the brakes and motor display. After we wire up the trike and get everything situated on the frame, Kobe can move to the recumbent seat, getting it ready to be situated on the E-Quad. All of the complex installations are done now, so all that's left is to install the seat, put in the boom, and set up the pedals to the motor and to the roll-off. Kobe feeds the chain through the chain tube, measuring Eric's X seam and setting up the quad perfectly adjusted for our customer once it arrives to him. Now minor adjustments are made to strengthen the seat, adding the seat mesh and installing the now built UT Custom Super Headrest, putting the finishing touches on Eric's E quad until it's ready to be taken off the table and moved to QA. The QA process includes a 200-point checklist handled by Jan, our dedicated quality assurance lead. After checking all the parts, making sure nothing is left out, and passing its inspection, a final test ride is done to test real-world performance and safety. On our test rides, we push the quad to verify shifting, motor engagement, braking, and steering alignment. This ensures everything is functional before sending it off to shipping. Eric's E-Quad passed its riding inspection with flying colors, so let's take a look at everything that's on this build. Eric's build is a custom Revolution E-Quad RS, our premier pedal electric off-road quad that we've been manufacturing here in Springville, Utah for over five years. Upgraded with a double mirror setup, our super headrest, and the roll-off full grip shifter. The UT Custom Performance seat mesh provides extra storage on the back of the seat for any tools or items he'll need on his ride. 
For extra safety, we always recommend getting pedals with foot straps, and Eric did just that with the UT Custom Support Platform Pedals. Up on the handlebars, we have two hydraulic disc brake levers and our UT Custom Roll-Off Full Grip Shifter. And of course, that shifter is paired with the Roll-Off 14-speed internally geared hub in the rear, allowing for the highest high gears and the lowest low gears. Eric's quad has full suspension with two elastomers up front and two coilover shocks in the rear. These shocks are fully adjustable, allowing Eric to fine-tune spring suspension and preload for his riding style. The E-Quad is fitted with aggressive 20x4 Innova Nobby tires that offer superior grip and off-road capabilities. And we can't forget about the throttle and pedal-activated 1000-watt mid-drive Bafang motor, letting you hit speeds up to 20 miles per hour easily. Our rear differential allows for easy road riding and variable turning, making your ride smoother and evenly powered. Once the quad passes QA, it moves into our 360 photo studio for final documentation. Garrett takes detailed photos and sends them to the customers for approval before shipping. Once the 360 gets sent out and approved by the customer, we send it over to Jamal for shipping, taking great care to protect the trike and package it so once it arrives at Eric's doorstep, it will be ready to pull out of the box and ride. Thanks for coming along for this ride as we brought Eric's custom E-Quad RS to life. From the first weld to the final accessory, every step of this build was done with purpose, precision, and a respect for Eric's vision. This wasn't just a build though, it was a collaboration with Eric to create the quad that perfectly fit his vision and the ride that he wants out of his E-Quad. If you're thinking about your own custom ride or have questions about what goes into a project like this, don't hesitate to reach out. We're always excited to help turn ideas into motion. With that, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads as well. If you like the E-Quad, make sure to stick around because you aren't going to want to miss what we have in store these next couple of months. If you've made it this far, head down into the comments and let me know what you would add on your very own custom E-Quad. I'd love to hear from you guys. And until next time, remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. I'll see you guys in the next one.